welcome to Phillips Thoughts. Uh, today we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a product review on the uh, Apple Peeler. It's a Smart Gourmet Apple Peeler. Cost less than 10 bucks. I mean, this thing was like $6.99 or something like that. And, you know, I've never used one of these before, but, you know, if you look at my previous video on the uh, apple picking, um, we've got apples, so we've got to use them. And, uh, you know, hopefully this will save us some time. I've never used one of these before. It's supposed to peel, core, and slice, so let's give it a shot. It came relatively uh, put together. The only thing I had to do was screw on the handle. So, uh, you know, that was nice that it came already prepared. Uh, I've got some of our apples here. As you can see, I've got some big ones. I've got some little ones. We're going to try different sizes on here, see if that makes a difference. You know, and these are apples that came off our trees. Um, so they're not all perfectly shaped or anything like that, you know, like you might get in the store. So I think that'd be a good test for the uh, apple peeler here. Now it does have a little uh, base control to uh, stick it to our table and it seems to stick relatively good to the wooden table. I also do have a bowl here with some water and lemon juice. That way once the apples are peeled, I can dunk them in there and they won't turn yellow or anything before I use them. Uh, so hey, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. We'll start off with one of these big apples here, I guess. and. Uh, Go ahead and slide it on there. Okay, now the app. You know, here's one bad thing. This doesn't seem to be holding too long. So I'm not sure what's up with that. Yeah, that is not holding for very long at all. Granted, this is a wooden table, you know, could be issues with that, but uh, I don't know. Let's see if we can get it to stay for longer. Okay, let's crank her through. Let's try to hold the base. Seems to be peeling fine. Well, definitely not sticking down. And there we go. So we cored the apple. I also did actually slice it through. Now there is some, you know, leftovers on here a little bit. Uh, but overall, seem to do a pretty good job. So let's go ahead and toss that into the water so it doesn't start turning on us. Got to be careful. These, these aren't necessarily sharp, but they're not uh, dull either. I don't think I'd want to be stabbed by those. So. All right, man, this base is just not sticking on this surface. Um, I may try it on some other surfaces. Testing it out on our countertop, it does seem to stick better, but it does, after a little while, lose its grip. So, yeah, better on here than on wood. You know, probably, you know, maybe if you had granite or a stone countertop, it might even do even better. But I don't have that, so we'll just go with what we got. So, yeah, it definitely works better on the countertop, not so great on the wooden table. Do the small one. And that seemed to work pretty well with the small one as well. So yeah, my biggest beef with this is going to be the base, you know, whether or not it's holding. Let's see if I got a apple. I know I had a couple kind of odd shaped ones here. This one's not. You know, it's kind of big on one side, you know, small on the other. So let's see how that handles. Up there. But overall, seems to be doing pretty good. I think I like this thing. I think this will save a lot of time. 
cutting up our apples for our yummy desserts. So, other than the base not sticking to the wood table, I think I'm good with this. Uh, I'll go ahead and uh, crank out the rest of these apples and uh, try to give you guys some closer shots of this working. Um, but yeah, I like it. So if you uh, do want to come back and see some of our uh, desserts, you know, there's an apple uh, cream cheese tart recipe video out there already. Go ahead and take a look at that. And we're going to be doing some more here as soon as I get some apples uh, sliced up. And we'll get those out to you and hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like, share this out with your friends. You know, come back to the channel. We've got different gardening tips, uh, you know, cooking recipes and just, you know, other general thoughts as well. So, you know, just trying to have a fun time out here, guys. And, uh, you know, let me know what you'd like to see. You know, please comment below. But until next time, keep thinking, guys.